Good morning, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa. We're out here in Columbia, Missouri at the Green Valley Rifle Range. This is my home range. This is where the Bianchi Cup is uh, shot every year. And we're going to start and give you some video of the first shots out of this Navy uh, model 1870 Springfield made rolling block in 5070 government. Uh, this is the one that I got as a barreled action and we are putting pieces on it as we can find them and the, since there was only one year of production and only 10,000 were made they're a little hard to find but let's see if we can get this thing to shoot Well, it goes bang. It's a black powder cartridge, 5070 government. Just like they used back then. That was a load of 65 grains of 2F over a 367 grain bullet. No wad, just black powder and a bullet. Okay, now we have the first movie star in our midst. This is the iconic Trapdoor Springfield. At the end of the Civil War, when cartridges were just coming into vogue, um, the Army was looking for a cheap way to use up all those 1861 muskets that they had, uh, percussion rifled muskets, and they came up with this conversion, which allowed them to use the barrels up, make a new receiver. It latched. This is why it's called the trap door. And you could once again single load it with a 4570 cartridge. This was usually the guns used by Custer. I mean, what better uh, uh, recommendation can you have than you could get wiped out using a gun like <laughs> that? But uh, that was, uh, the Army was using them. This happens to be an H&R reproduction, the cavalry carving. Uh, and we'll shoot that a couple of times just to, just to show you what that's like. Again, a black powder, single shot cartridge, a single uh, shot cartridge, right, uh, yeah. carbine. Helps if you cock them all the way back. And this one would actually project around. So while those Indians were, while the whole Sioux Nation was riding down on you, had a single shot rifle that took ammunition, center fire ammunition you would be you would recognize today it's the same 4570 that's being loaded in the Marlins. Ooh, 
Ooh, that one seemed to be a little light. That's not the healthy boom we expected. <laughs> Where was my earth shattering kaboom? <laughs> I expected an earth-shattering kaboom. Once again, a very simple action, single-shot action, that anybody could learn to use. And as a matter of fact, these were kept in the Army inventory long after everybody else had gone to bolt actions. Uh, because the troops liked them. They were always uh, uh, reliable. They always worked. And... Uh, so, you know, Custer got caught out with them when well, some of the Indians uh, had faster firing uh, rifles. Uh, but that is the 4570 Trapdoor Springfield. 1874 French Gras. Time marches on. Only four years after that Navy contract for that uh, rolling block, the bolt actions came around. The 1874 um, Mauser and of the same ilk. Same uh, genre was the 1874 Braz. This is a French. This is the French military rifle. 11 millimeter, like so many of them were during the day. And it took, again, a contained cartridge. So we have gone from the rolling block to the trap door. And now we're starting to see some new technologies. Still black powder. Berries? Yeah, uh oh, we have no low ejecto. <laughs> I think our our rim is too small. These were uh, these were made out of uh, three forty eight Winchester brass because I couldn't find any glass brass. And we seem to have a small headspace problem. We probably need a thicker rim. That's why it's not ejecting, and that we're getting a slight primer rise with the shot. So we have to work on our technique of our reloading technique here and see if we can't get some uh, ammunition that works better in this particular rifle. At least for functioning, it shoots just fine. There's no blowback, it seals properly. Everything works, except for the rim being a little small and thin. I'll have to make a little washer to go around that to thicken that rim up to solve our headspace problem. That's causing the primer to back out. So, since that isn't 100%, that's all we're going to shoot that one. Bang. So, we've saved the best yeah, for last. Not well, not, not exactly bad. last, but of the black powder single shots, we've saved the best for last. This is the movie star. This is the Marilyn Monroe of single shot rifles. This is the Mark II Martini Henry 577 450 single shot dropping block. That starred in the movie Zulu. Uh, it's a dropping block. When you work the lever, the block simply drops. The cartridge comes out. You put the next one in, close the lever, and you're back in business. If you've seen the movie Zulu, you've seen them fire these in volley fire, in independent fire, and this is this was the movie star. This was the one that that got everybody kind of hot to shoot uh, black powder cartridge again. So let's take a 577 450, which was the 577 Snyder case, neck down from 577 to 450. In other words, it's a wildcat. <laughs> it's the flat shooting varmint <laughs> cartridge of the era. Not really, but nonetheless, that's that's what they did is they necked down the 577 Snyder cartridge and single loaded there is no safety once again they're a little weak on ejection uh, with these cartridges they eject pretty well uh, with the uh, original 
coiled brass cartridges ejection could be a problem. Um, and sometimes in the movies you'll see them pounding on the rifle trying to get it to eject. But our modern day brass is, is much better than the stuff that they used and that one just stuck in the chamber and I don't know why. All right, so we ran into some technical difficulties here with the Martini Henry. Uh, the old Kynotch ammo that the Singing Old Gunsmith was using had a case head separation. So let's put a couple rounds down range with my Mark IV Martini Henry, and then we'll get back to the Singing Old Gunsmith. So anyways, you still running? Yep. Okay. So, 150 year old rifles can be temperamental. Okay? And if you're into old rifles, if you don't, if like me, you don't think rifles are truly interesting until they're at least 100 years old, here's several items that you might be interested in collecting. If, on the other hand, you're a modern day shooter and you want to shoot modern day cartridges without trouble, there are still single shot rifles that are economically available that we'll show you a couple of now. Okay? Thank you, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa. I had such a good time. All right, we are going to take a look at a couple of modern single shot break open 223 rifles. We've got the H&R here, and then we've got a Rossi. Uh, in break action 223 old design 1800s late 1800s they came out with these a lot of these were shotguns but they did make several rifles in these break open, open actions let's try the round gong what uh, now let's go to the one all the way to the left the white one all the way to the left I saw it move and everything. Heard it and saw it. Got it again. Very good. One more. Now, let's see Q-Man shoot. All right, we're going to try the Rossi here. Let's put this on paper first, and then we'll go up to 250 yards. These are 55 grain soft points. Now the 250 yarder. Got it. Took a sweet time getting there. This is 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. I appreciate comments and I am out.